Hey, it's your old pal Fruit Bark, standing in the rain like a dumbass, getting ready to do a little pyre cast iron Wednesday. Yeah, it's raining out. So what we have here is cream cheese, raspberry preserves, and oh, apple crumble mix. So, oh, it's pretty stiff still. So she said, "Yep, not that kind of channel." Part two of my pie iron today is going to be a Mexican-themed pie iron. It's going to, I'm going to use this cone chinita pibli. And God, my apologies to anybody Hispanic watching this. And I'm going to put that in the pie iron with a little cheese and hope for the best. All right, you've seen this before. You know how it works. It helps if you make sure that's pretty lubed up too because that's where a lot of stickage occurs. I've had this about a year ago. I can't remember what it tastes like though. Um, that's what she looks like on the inside. Let's give her a sniff. Um, it smells like a lately seasoned pork. Let's put a healthy dose of that in there. Cheese it up. That should be good. This cheap aluminum pie iron doesn't close as nice as my uh, cast iron Rome pie iron does, but should get the job done. Have a look, see at the old pie iron here. Oh, what do you know? Frumbark's starting to get the hang of this thing. All right, Let's see if I can get this on here without spilling the works everywhere. Oh. That's some golden goodness right there. We're going to go and let that cool down because it is about molten hot on well, the inside. It's time to cut this baby open. It's not getting any drier out here, so I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> take it right down the middle. That's what she looks like. Mark and I are going to see if we can stave off third degree burns. pretty good. That apple crumble, I think you could put it on dog poop. I bet you good. I mean, at first you'd be like, oh, dog poop, and then you crunch in the apple yeah, crumble. That's like, really oh, good. That's not so bad. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm two for two. Usually I'm good for burning one of these. <laughs> Look at that. Nice puffy brown. Ooh, comes right out of the thing. You can see the cheese is a little gooey right there. That's going to, we're going to let that sit for a minute too. All right, we're going to have to accelerate the cutting of this a little bit since the rain has really picked up and my camera is not even close to being waterproof, so. There we are. I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Man, the rain is ridiculous. Oh, that's really hot. Mmm. So you still fern barked it? Yeah, a little bit. Dude, mm. this is so good. If you got room in, left in the tank, you got to try this other half. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I just have to buck up. Yeah, it's going to hurt your mouth, though. I'm just telling you that right away. Mmm. What do you think? That's something. Oh, yeah. Whatever seasoning they got in there, that's a winner. All right, time to wrap this up before my camera floods. Thanks for watching. I'm going. <laughs>